As you know, we should begin with the most important and the most basic part. When it comes to cryptocurrencies, there's nothing more important than the security of your assets. So let me begin with an introduction on how to securely operate the VDS wallet. Unless you're an idiot, everybody knows the bank not only saves your cash, but also your personal information. And through the connection of one's personal information and bank account number, assets are clearly listed under your name. What's more, in the centralized world, we're forced to go through third parties to access our assets. And very unfortunately, third party institutions at any time maintain the ability to manipulate and control our assets. So thinking on this, do you still feel like your money is your money? You go judge for yourselves. Anyway, for me, I consider that money in your bank account just a string of numbers on another person's account books. Nothing more. Whatever else you want to call it's nonsense. But in the world of cryptocurrency, in the coming decentralized world, everybody's assets are recorded and in the hands of the distributed ledger. There's no need for third parties to prove our assets. It's because everybody is the central bank. The private keys and passwords in our hands make us 100% in control of our own property. <laughs> That's the charm in cryptocurrency. There's no third party able to touch our assets. Of course, that means there's nobody else there responsible for our own property. Only us. However, as long as we grasp a few key points of knowledge, just by taking a few simple steps, financial safety can be fully realized. Now, please remember, learning these safety procedures is very important. You must get a grip on it. Otherwise, there is no way to ensure your cryptocurrency safety or asset safety. Okay, next up. Let's go through and demonstrate a few easy steps to keep your assets safe. The best method is to use an offline wallet to store your private key. The VDS wallet application supports an offline wallet. And through the functions, the offline wallet, we can create a private key that never contacts the internet to ensure the absolute safety of our private key. Of course, the operation of such a safe function is extremely simple. First, we want to install the VDS Bitcoin dual wallet onto a phone. Now, this kind of dual wallet design can help us at the same time manage our Voller and Bitcoin. And next, we want to disconnect all of our phone's communication functions, mobile internet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever. Make sure all communication functions are shut off. Okay, you want to ensure that there are no living organisms in near proximity. And thus, in this kind of safe environment, we can have an isolated network and absolutely safe private key. Now, because BDS and BTC share the same private key, we can transfer Voller and Bitcoin to addresses that correspond to that same private key without worry. One thing to pay attention to, when we transfer cryptocurrency into this address, you need to be sure this phone never uses any connection or communication method ever again. Only this will completely ensure the safety of your private key. Now, since uh, VDS and BTC operations are completely the same, at this point, I'm choosing to demonstrate operation with the VDS wallet. So first, we need to create an offline private key. Okay, now inside our wallet application, select offline wallet to set our password. And I suggest you use a mixture of at least 12 characters for your password, the mixture of capital and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols to help prevent your password from being hacked by a brute force attack. Okay, now definitely memorize your password because if you forget it, even God has no way to help you find it again.
After setting this password, we click Next. And a picture appears here, so let's scratch that. Okay, in here is the seed phrase of our private key. This is extremely important because through this 12 word seed phrase, in any situation, we can once again find our private key. Of course, anyone can also find the corresponding private key if they get a hold of that 12 word seed phrase. So the way I recommend saving it is to write it down with a pen and paper and keep it stored in a safe place. Don't take a photo of it with your phone or use a screenshot to save it, it's too dangerous. Okay, now if we've written down the seed phrase, we press next. And now the system will let us verify the seed phrase we just recorded. Just enter them in. Now, we hit complete and our offline private key is created. Now the notes you just took have to be stored wherever you think is the safest. You can even separate the info into two parts and store it in different places. Of course, you must remember the place you kept it. So maybe you're wondering, hey, this private key isn't connected to the network. How is it even possible to send and receive my cryptocurrency? This question is related to cryptography, and I won't talk about the theory here. You just need to know all of our receipts and payments are done through the public key, and each public key is generated by a corresponding private key. Now, the information of our public key is recorded in each person's wallet book. So, whether you're connected or not, as long as you tell the other party the public key address, you can receive the cryptocurrency from the payer. If we need to use this money, it's also very easy. We first need to prepare another separate mobile phone and install the VDS wallet application. Choose create an online wallet or we can import an existing private key. And then the following operations for the 12 word seed phrase, setting the password and generation are the same as they were for the offline wallet private key. After the creation is complete, we can see the operation monitor address on the home page of the wallet. After entering, click on the added address and it will display a QR code. Next, we use the permanently offline wallet and open the VDS wallet application. Click monitor addresses. Now the corresponding public key QR code for the private key that we just generated will show up. Now you only need to use the online phone to scan the QR code shown in the offline wallet. Then the results of the offline wallet will be successfully added into the list of monitored addresses inside your online wallet. Now let's try to transfer Voller to this offline wallet. It's actually convenient and safe. Now you can see through the online wallet that we received a payment of 11.05 Voller in the offline wallet. Thus, we can manage the assets of our offline wallet at any time. This method is very stable and convenient. It's been tested and proven in the cryptocurrency industry for many years. And with confidence, we can say it's pretty safe. Next, let's see how we use the online wallet to operate the offline wallet's private key and make a payment. First, we select the monitored address that we just added. Click to enter the address details, then click the transfer button and enter into the transfer page. On that page, fill in a VDS address that can transfer and receive Voller payments. Enter the five Voller amount that we want to pay and click transfer. After that, we have to input the password for the online wallet. A QR code appears on the screen. So in the offline phone VDS wallet application, click in the upper right hand corner and get to the QR code. Scan QR code in the online wallet phone screen. 
Now the password input prompt of the offline wallet appears. Okay, we enter the password. Then we get another QR code in the offline wallet. This QR code is used for signature verification. We use the online wallet to scan the QR code. Then the five volers is paid successfully to the receiver. And during the whole payment process, the private key in the offline wallet has never touched an external network, but the payment command has been verified by the QR code, which ensures the absolute safety and security of the assets associated with our offline wallet private key. If you learn this process, you can manage your assets as you want, and this is extremely safe. Finally, let's talk about the difference of VDS and BTC wallets. Under the same private key, there are many different types of addresses. Knowing their roles and using them rationally is the first step in using VDS well. A basic address. There's no need for much explanation. It's an independent address for receiving and making payment. An HD address, or hierarchical deterministic address, is a form of address collection management. An address like this can generate an indefinite number of payment addresses under the same private key, which provides a very convenient application environment for many commercial users. A multi-signature address is an address that can facilitate transactions only after multiple private key signature authorizations. This address is created through multiple private keys, and the number of signatures needed can be set for payment confirmation. Most commonly, people set up a two out of two signature, a two out of three, three out of five, and so on. This kind of mechanism has greatly helped enterprise level high value asset security management. It's like a decentralized board of directors. A VID address. This kind is completely unique to the VDS system. It's also the avatar used to identify and distinguish each VDS user. The predecessor of a VID address is a basic address. After you use the basic address to make your fission payment to a VID address, your basic address will become a VID address. After creating a VID address, you will be able to receive trust stamp promotion rewards access the secret chat system, and some other advanced functions and special permissions. You can think of the VID address as a VIP account on the VDS chain. The power of what you can do with this is going to impress you. Okay, lastly, we have an anonymous address. This address provides an anonymous transfer function through zero knowledge proof technology. This address will erase all funds transfer records, which technologically speaking is the safest way to maintain payment anonymity in the world. So far, there's no competitive method. Okay, those are the whole content for this video. And finally, I need to remind you again that cryptocurrency security is very important. Under all circumstances, your private key password information should be kept in an extremely safe environment. Don't tell anyone. Same time, remember your password and your payment information for your VDS wallet because your assets can only be controlled by you. Anyhow, please ensure safety.